200,000 civilian workers led to this revolutionary experiment under the top secret Manhattan Project. The road to the Trinity test and the dropping of the bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki well, we got to see a really nice documentary interactive stream from the National World War II Museum in New Orleans, although they had reporters going from throughout the United States on the construction of the original atomic weapons at the end of World War II. You know, it's really nice. I wish I could take all the kids to New Orleans and show it to them <laughs> personally, but I can't. So it's really nice that they do something like that to bring the museum here. It's one of the greatest, if not the greatest, World War II museum that I've ever been to in the world. So it's, uh, it's a wonderful thing that they're willing to take the time to do what they do for our kids. ...to move forward with the full-scale investment in the bond program. Here to tell us more is Robert Franklin. Thank you so much for being here. Well, thank you for having me. It was really amazing. They did a great job with all of the filming and interaction. And we did pull up the website in the group we were in. We were pulling it up and um, asking questions and taking the polls. And it was really nice to be able to interact and see the interactions on the screen. It's going to be interesting later today and tomorrow and the rest of the week to see how it goes in class. I'm quite sure we're going to be talking about this a lot here as we you know, work our way through. Uh, the class that I teach to Phoebe and Bridget is just now getting started with the Cold War. We're just about to do this in class, so it's going to be very conducive to those conversations. We've gone through the process of making a nuclear bomb and the thing in Germany was. That's a great question. The other thing that I really liked about it too is uh, so much of the footage that they showed today was top secret military secrets until well into the 1960s. Um, the footage that we saw of Hiroshima and Nagasaki especially, nobody saw any of that until uh, many, many years later. So I'm pleased that they're finally starting to get that out so we can see the after effects a little bit more of what went on and not just the lead up to the, the blast themselves. For me, I didn't really know anything about the Manhattan Project, not very much. I didn't really know what it was, and I thought it was really interesting just to see it. I mean, I've never done anything like this with like getting to sit here on a field trip like this. I thought it was really fun. You are never too young, too small, or living too small of a time to be able to make a difference and truly change the world.